Um, questions to this point? No? Um, well, so, w well, let me ask these questions. What are the basic prerequisites for the development of complex structures through natural selection? Three prerequisites. Yes? Uh, Genesee. Genesee. I keep, okay, Genesee. Um, Good, okay. So, must be small variations in a population. Those variations have to be inheritable, and those variations also lead to variations in survival rates of individuals, right? You have to have all three in order to have natural selection lead to kind of some kind of evolution. What does Pinker think of attempts to demonstrate some level of human language ability in non human primates? Yes? Um, oh, is that, um, do you think that they don't, just that they're just accidental and that they, they don't actually exist, like they don't have, <coughs> they don't have the ability to language like humans do? Uh -huh. Yes, good. Uh, so, yeah, he basically doesn't think much of all of these attempts, right? So some of them he just said that there's just frauds, right? Um, and others he says, you know, that it's, it's not really any kind of, uh, anything near human language ability, and, and, and he kind of sets the bar a little bit high too, I suppose. Uh, and and but and so the one example that he's willing to admit something is is Kansi, uh, but he actually doesn't go into much. That even but he, even there he's saying that it's just it's 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 so primitive that you can't really compare it to to human language. Um, what is Pinker's explanation for the origin of language? Somebody, an answer to the question of our class? What's this answer? Yes? It's based on natural selection, right? Uh, where he's, he's saying that, that some kind of brain circuits in this early primate were kind of reprogrammed from their previous uses into the, to, to use for language, right? and actually specific circuits in a sense, right? He calls them circuits. And what does Pinker leave out of this explanation? Yes? Okay, so he's, yeah, he's, he's totally unspecific about really the, the steps that would have Allowed this gradual development, right? So you know, typically, if you're if you're if you're imagining natural selection, you're imagining sort of these small variations that lead to sort of these gradual steps toward the kind of complex skill, and he he doesn't have really any account of those small steps. What you know, what could those small steps have been, right? He doesn't have any thing to tell us there, right? Um, okay, so for Wednesday. Uh, please read the deacon. Um, he's, going, he's going to be referring to um, Peirce. One thing that to remember, um, what, what, what we read as likeness, deacon is going to be referring to as icon. So he calls it icon, but it's the same thing as what we call likeness. It's, it's actually a word that Peirce also uses in a different essay, but just remember that as you read.